Hockey Night Hangout, presented by Chevrolet. Today on Hockey Night Hangout, a story of perseverance. Unwanted and undrafted. Brody with room, over to Giordano, low jump, scores! Oh, a howitzer from Giordano! Giordano overcame the odds, signing with the Calgary Flames after a tryout in 2004. Two years later, he joined Calgary in the NHL. Brody jumps up on the rush for the Flames, flips the puck to Camilleri, back to Giordano, scores! Off the post and in! Today, he captains the Flames. Giordano, the epitome of performance. Chevrolet, find new roads. Hello everyone and welcome to Hockey Night Hangout. I'm your host, Annie Petrillo, and thank you to everyone who sent in questions to our special guest, Mark Giordano. And just to remind you of how you can send in your questions, well, you can do so on Twitter and through Facebook as well. It's at Hockey Night or at Andy P H N I C. Use hashtag Hockey Night. And through Facebook, it's Facebook slash Hockey Night in Canada. And yes, it is the captain of the Flames, Mark Giordano, who's joining us. Uh, no secret, it's been a tough season for the Flames, but they have picked up eight wins in the month of March so far. Big wins as well, 7-2 over Anaheim, and then there was an 8-1 victory over Edmonton. And Giordano right now second in points on the team, ninth amongst defensemen with goals scored in the league. And Mark, to some people, that's not a surprise who know you because Two seasons you were leading in scoring amongst defensemen when with the Owen Sound attack of the OHL. Are you sure you weren't meant to be a forward? <laughs> no, I've always, I've always had that uh, part of my game. I think uh, um, I took a lot of pride of, in it when I was younger, and, and obviously when I made the jump to pro, it's a little bit more difficult to, you know, to put up the numbers. But I think this year has gone well for sure, and uh, happy to. It's always nice scoring goals and contributing offensively for sure. So I know we briefly talked, but the great thing about this show is, of course, fans get to send in their questions to you. So I want to get to their questions right away because there's some good ones here. Uh, Eugene McGargle wants to know, since you're Italian-Canadian, did you start out playing soccer rather than hockey? No, that's a good question. But no, I, uh, a lot of my buddies did, but uh, I actually was more of a baseball guy and, and uh, really took, took interest in baseball as a young, young guy and played pretty much until I was around the age of 13, 14. So I was never never a soccer player at all. And ball hockey, because that's where I first met you. Yeah, was you yeah. play, were you playing ball hockey? Did you have to make a decision then playing baseball? Was there ever a decision of continue baseball, continue hockey? Uh, yeah, there was. But it, for me, it, there wasn't much of a decision. I, I, I really loved uh, the game, obviously, of hockey. And uh, it was just tough to have to give up baseball. I didn't want to, but I knew um, as you get older and it gets, you know, it becomes almost a full year, year round.